Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the top two best stocks to buy right now, and one of them has upside potential of increasing in their share price by 274%. So with that being said, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button for more videos like this one. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents, but if you can't afford that, don't worry. By subscribing, you're going to get this content for absolutely free. And with all of that being said, I say let's jump right into today's story. Starting off, the general stock market has experienced a lot of volatility over the last month, raising many questions in investors' minds about where the future of the stock market could be. Is it going to continuously rally, or is it going to hit a wall and crash? Now, this question was actually answered by Goldman Sachs' chief U.S. equity strategist, who I just so happen to agree with. And he believes that we are not at risk of going into a recession anymore, and that the economic growth data going forward remains very robust. This means that we could see a slow but steady increase gradually after September onwards through the rest of the year and into 2024 and beyond. On top of that, the analysts over at Goldman Sachs also agree that the stock market is poised for future growth, and they also pinpointed two opportunities in the stock market regarding stocks that investors should look into and buy now. On top of that, Wall Street is also on the same side as these analysts because the majority of analysts and Wall Street stock reporters agree that these two picks are very strong companies to buy. Now, I would always recommend you do your own research because everyone has different portfolios and different strategies, but with that being said, let's dive into both of these companies. The first one is named Sagimet Biosciences, ticker symbol SGMT, and this is a clinical stage biotechnology firm which works on developing novel therapeutics pertaining to fatty acid synthase inhibitors, and they can use this to formulate treatments for diseases such such as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, acne, and various types of cancers. What's interesting about this company is that they've only been public for around a little over a month. However, with that being said, due to their treatment for non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, which is being developed in collaboration with a Chinese partner, there has been great success for this overall therapy. On top of that, there are currently no approved medications to treat this type of condition, and it's estimated that by 2030, this market that this pharmaceutical or therapeutic would represent and try to cure or at least treat would be worth around $108 billion, meaning that this company has a huge market share with literally no other competitors as of right now. That would mean the future growth trajectory and the market opportunity for this company to take advantage of is absolutely huge. On top of that, they have also undergone phase 2b clinical studies for their special treatment called Denafanstat. So a Goldman Sachs analyst jumped on this opportunity and she writes, and I quote, with 26 week interim phase to be Fascinate-2 data confirming Denafanstat's robust benefit on decreasing liver fat content, inflammation, and fibrosis per biomarkers coupled with emerging evidence on the correlation between liver fat reduction per mri PDFF and NASH resolution per histology. We are positive into the upcoming biopsy data in the first quarter of 2024, the totality of which should support advancement to a pivotal program. Essentially, what she's saying is that they are seeing very good results from this particular type of treatment, and it's doing exactly what it should do, which could be a step forward towards it getting approved. The analyst went on to say, While we acknowledge the competitive landscape, Denafanstat's differentiated mechanism of action, alongside a predictive biomarker panel, could support a best-in-class profile and capture a blockbuster opportunity in NASH patients. Clearly, the analyst is very bullish on this overall company, so she gave them a buy rating. And she also added a $33 price target for SGMT stock, suggesting approximately 185% upside potential over the next year. You should also know that four other analysts have also reviewed this company and given their own price targets to where the average price target is even more bullish than this Goldman Sachs analyst to where the average price target is around $43.33, which makes room for approximately 274% upside potential from the share's current price of around $11.59. But it gets even better because more bullish analysts actually think the company could skyrocket up to $66. 
making this company a huge multi-bagger. Now, there is something interesting about this company. So even the low-end price target of this company is around $30, while the high-end is $67, and the average price target is $43.33. However, I did some research on the analyst that gave the price target of $33, and to be honest, her track record is not very impressive, to where only one-third of the stocks that she recommends end up making a profit, and her average yearly return is a loss of 12 0.8% and she is rated as a one-star analyst. So I was like, okay, well, we might as well just ignore this stock altogether until I found out that the highest price target of $67 on this company comes from a four-star analyst who believes the company could surge by around 478%. However, even if this company is too risky for you, let's move on to another company that I think is much safer and it still has loads of upside in them. And that would be Xenon Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol XENE. -E. Goldman Sachs must be looking into biotechnology firms because this biotech company focuses on the treatments for patients suffering from neurological disorders. Essentially, they are creating a therapy for epilepsy and other neurological conditions, including major depressive disorder, also known as MDD. Right now, they are working on several research programs for their pipeline development of XEN1101. And normally, biotechnology companies get large catalysts in the forms of milestones which informs investors on how the company is doing and how well they are running their business and if their overall treatments or therapies are actually doing what they're supposed to do. And Xenon has one big milestone catalyst coming up because they have patients that are fully enrolled in the XEN1101 Phase 2 X-NOVA study of MDD, which is that major depressive disorder. Essentially, this is all just fancy terminology for they are going through phased trials with patients to see if this treatment is effective. And the company anticipates having top-of-the-line data from this study around late November or mid-December, which could act as a very positive catalyst for this company over the long term, causing their share price to increase. Prior to that, the company is going to actually hold a webinar next month in which it will discuss their MDD program and landscape and what the future potentially holds for this company and treatment. And it seems that a Goldman Sachs analyst has a very positive thesis for Xenon to where he says, overall, we think these important clinical catalysts in the second half of 2023 could potentially validate the company's lending position in neurology and we look next to the KOL discussion on MDD in September. Given these comments, the Goldman Sachs analyst rates XENE -E shares as a buy rating with a $60 price target. The company currently trades at around $38.50, so a $60 price target is pretty good, which implies approximately around 56% upside potential over the next 12 months. Overall, the low-end analysts believe this company is worth at least $49, which still shows good upside potential from the current $38 price target. However, on the higher end, we have that $60 price target from this analyst, while the average price target comes in at around $55.17. Now, what I like about this company, and this is the reason why I say it's safer, is because look at the analyst profiles that are looking at this company and giving their overall price targets. We have four and five star analysts here that are very bullish on this overall company. Price targets ranging from $51 up to $60, and they all have buy ratings on this company. So it really doesn't matter if you think this company has upside or not, because clearly it does. The question is, how much upside does it actually have? And we won't know the answer to that until we get more data on these phased trials of their overall MDD treatments. But I do like this company a lot because five-star analysts have a much better track record. For instance, even if we look at this Goldman Sachs analyst, he is right 54% of the time with average returns of 10.9%. He is a four-and-a-half-star analyst ranking in the top 1,000 best Wall Street analysts with a very impressive profile. So overall, all, this is a much safer company with slightly lower upside from the first stock that we talked about, but either way, you should always make sure to do your own research to determine if either of these companies are right for you, and as always, feel free to put these on a watch list and come back to them later. With that being said, I would love for you to go and annihilate that like button if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. Don't forget to become a member of this channel if you want to support me personally, and with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.